welcome back to another Tweener Head Tennis video here at the Volvo Car Open. There's a lot going on. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and I am having lunch at the rooftop bar and cafe. I'm not sure, it just comes on a piece of, the menu comes on a piece of wood, which I kind of, that's real wood too, you can smell it. That's pretty funny. But yeah, menu, drink menu, everything comes on wood. My food doesn't come on wood, I'm very disappointed. But today, we have third round matches for the quarterfinals, and for a quarterfinal entry, and then we have, we have a lot of big names today, so I'm very excited, and then hopefully we get to do some more press conferences. I'm gonna try out the food here, then for dinner maybe I'll try out another food truck again, and then, I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us, so stay tuned. Here we go, Volvo car open, day seven? Let's go with seven. It didn't come on wood, I'm very disappointed. Cheers. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I just need more wind. I'm so hot outside. I'm like squinting and everything. Like I take my hat off and I can barely see. I like keep my hat down like this. So congratulations again on your match. Um, what what's it like to be one of the most successful tennis players in Greek history, for especially as a woman? Well, it's quite unique and okay. very brings me a lot of happiness, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm proud, you know, being one of actually been one of the best athletes in Greece, female mm -hmm. athletes in Greece. Um, it's a lot of pressure on one side, but it's it's good pressure yeah. because, as I said. Earlier, it's, we bring a lot of kids uh, on, like introducing yeah. them to tennis, which is a very nice thing, and that's a reason we really play. For. And is that uh, uh, something you and Stefanos kind of work at together to kind of bring the sport of tennis to Greece more? Or? I think it's, it just comes, you know, with our results. It's mm -hmm. not something we're forcing or something okay. we are. Of course, if they ask us to do something like on a club, and if we can, we can do it for mm -hmm. for them to help, we will do it. But I think. The results and a good image outside, uh, inside the court is all that matters. Was the was tennis your only route? Did you think turning it into a career, or was there something? When some, I was young, when, I was, when you were young, was there anything you were passionate about as well that I was, you wanted to do? You know, I was always very good in doing sports. I was mm -hmm. a very strong kid. Mm -hmm. So if you would see pictures of me when I was young, I would be I would really have bigger big shoulders, most. bigger than the other kids. Okay. The other girls on my age. Mm -hmm. Which you know made me a good athlete in general. So it was nothing else that I was good in track and field, good on every single sport I was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was choosing another sport, that would be for sure good. <laughs> it's it's quite maybe not nice to say, but it's the truth. Yeah, that's, that's good though. Yeah. You want to be a bit humble, but also exactly. you're good at what you do, yeah. so you have to be proud of it. So what, with all this fame that you get from being Greek and being one of the top female athletes in Greece, what keeps you grounded with the fame? I think it's the way, you know, I grew up mm -hmm. and um, a very, my family was very like, uh, united, no, how could you? United, yeah. United, yeah. yeah. United, we were very, my parents were very li like down to earth and mm -hmm. um, it's just I think the way you, I grew up. The, mm -hmm. the way that I was educated mm -hmm. from my house, and um, you know, my always my parents they say stay humble, and uh, good things are gonna come. What you're a very passionate player. You're very passionate on court, and that's a good thing. 
but what makes you the most frustrated about tennis in general? Well, uh, that you can have, because we're playing almost every day and yeah. every week, you can have bad days. Mm -hmm. On one hand, it's bad because then you don't like yourself self on court. Mm -hmm. And you can have also like three, four weeks mm -hmm. losing first round. But then on the other hand, it's like you have a chance every single week, which mm -hmm. is which turns the thing yeah. turn the things around. So to kind of like start new every day. Yes. Uh, okay. And my last question would for you would be what was the last time you were nervous for a match? Um you mean like really nervous? Like I can't sure. even move my feet? Sure, let's go with that. If that helps you decide. Well I have been in a lot this year. <laughs> <laughs> um I would say in my match with Danilovic in Miami. Really? Because I came back from, you know, losing a lot mm -hmm. of first rounds. Mm -hmm. It was not so much the opponent because he's a yeah. very, very good player and very mm -hmm. young and promising player. Yeah. But it was just that I really wanted to win. Yeah. So first set I was like paralyzed mm -hmm. and my legs wouldn't move. And yeah. So that's the last match I was very nervous. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Maria. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't know how you play with that. Like, I put a bun in, I take two steps, and it's like down here already. Yeah, because you have to make a ponytail first. Does it oh. hurt? And then, and then I have like body pins. No, do you mean these ones? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just use a big bun, band yeah. like hair bun. Yeah. Uh, for my ponytail, and then I go around yeah. with another bun. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of hair, and it's so heavy, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good for my hair, but it's okay. Does it hurt when you tie it that tight? No. No? It you, you if I go a little bit higher, it hurts. So it's, I have to do it every time on the exact same thing. you have to do it? I have to do it. And that's the only thing I can do on my hair. I'm so useless to do anything else, I swear. That's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I was telling my mom yesterday that, God, I'm so bad, like, doing my nails. I cannot even do like a, a break. Yeah, so that, that's how it used to say. Good. Can I get. Is it a chance to get the baby mac with the uh, fried chicken? Yeah. Oh my god, this thing is sick. Look at this mac and cheese. <laughs> Look at that. That looks good. So thank you guys so much for following us here on day seven of the Volvo Car Open here in Charleston. I want to give a huge thank you to Marisa Sakari for sitting down after her match, after being the two seed Kiki Burtons here, for sitting down and talking to us about her life off the court as well as on the court as well. So thank you to her. I'll leave her social media links in the description below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. We have been getting non-stop support for the channel lately and I really appreciate you guys hitting that big thumbs up button. Let's try to get this video to 10 likes as well. If you wanna check out more behind the scenes videos, you know what to do. Go to all our social medias and follow them, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as going behind the scenes at tweenerheadtennis.com for more behind the scenes articles as well as cool tweenerhead tennis merch like stickers, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all that kind of stuff. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the week. See you guys soon. Thanks guys.